Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. And if you are new to the channel, um, right now, so far, we are all about Hangman watercolors. And so I basically um, pick some colors from different shops on mostly Etsy. Um, and I order them, bring them in, and then show it to you guys. And um, I do introduction and purchase experience and um, basically problem solving skills and some swatching, arts, lettering, the whole gist. And um, so welcome, welcome, if that's your thing. And it being a new year and all, new things are coming. And if you have been following my Instagram, you can probably guess what it is. But before I successfully shoot the new video about the new topic, that I'm not going to say it to jinx myself for failing, <laughs> you know. Anywho, um, yeah, so speaking of new human watercolors. Happy mail! Yes, pause around. These guys are from Lonely Moon. I actually have been eyeing like some of the colors for a while and and then but um, Black Friday was coming up and I was like you know what? I'm going to wait for a little bit longer. You know, patience is key apparently, which I'm lack of. <laughs> and well, then um, there was 10% off, I believe. Let me check. Yes, it was 10% off. And I was like, cha-ching! And yeah, so I was like, okay, I have got to order some colors. And I did. Plus, like, there there was, like, these two sets of new colors that came out. I was like, oh, my God, I have to meet them in person. So, speaking of a discount, um, I don't know. Because I was, like, you know, rushing to put my order in before they are all gone and I couldn't find the discount button anywhere so I purchased first and messaged them and I explained the situation and yeah and I still got a discount so that was great and thank you very much top-notch problem-solving skills <laughs> and yeah it's like okay problem-solving skills of the shop owners it's key for someone like me because i make mistakes when i order stuff and then i need some help <laughs> and yeah so actually one second i want to um show you guys some of the hand lettering that I've been doing and if you haven't been following my on my Instagram yet and yeah I would say that I have improved since last year quite proud of myself and yeah like um, I use a lot more lettering style now it takes a lot of practice and I've learn how to do banners okay that's the only one that i know how to do for now but yes i will learn more and just trying different styles and shadowing techniques and all see hard work yeah i use my hard work that i actually putting them in use to um justify all my buys right now but hey, guess what? I haven't bought anything this year because I'm still waiting for my Black Friday orders. 
and I guess because it was like um, close to Christmas so the shipping was is taking longer than ever <laughs> so see see the heart and yeah these are the stuff I have done for this year so far oh look at that scarf see how can you say no to these gorgeous colors and they are like so unique and pretty oh look at that uh, okay. yes good things are coming and they are coming to my channel too so stay tuned and find out what it is just you know let me get it together it's gotta be a while maybe like March or something but yeah I would love to show you guys my new found artsy like hobby which is awesome and okay hint hint wink wink <laughs> it smells good <laughs> does that help all right all right let's meet these guys no further ado so in the package i got some samples and i asked i actually accidentally yeah i accidentally cut one of this so it's like bottomless <laughs> yeah but they get dark cards they're so cute and they last forever okay i have to show you guys quite proud of myself for this particular thing so see this is the mermaid um series dark card from eule watercolors and after i like um yeah now it's more clear um after i've done my most of my christmas card with this guys and which was like a lot of them and look i still have like quite some left so like dark cards are like they last for a really really long time i'm not gonna say forever because ta -da, guess what i've almost finished one of the dot and yeah so um they don't last forever that would be a stretch but they do last for a really long time you can write a lot a lot with it and let me go grab something let me show you this so as you can see on my instagram i'm used to um well since i'm like new to all this like hand lettering business <laughs> well should, like hobby and so um i practice on smaller papers like business card sizes and then i collect them in a book so yeah so this are like how I collect my see okay so this is why I want to show you so I did all this and I've got a bunch more and I've given out some of them yes I wore a lot of like see different style of like Merry Christmas so proud of myself great improvement <laughs> Yes, see, I wrote so many of them with this and I have, st I still have some left. So all I want to say is that dark cards, they last for a really long time and you get to try um, different colors that you didn't order. Um, well, they usually give, uh, if, I think, in my experience they always they always give out colors that you didn't purchase you didn't purchase in that particular order and like yeah so you like new colors and once you try and if you are in love then you can you know get them like one second 
I wish I'm more prepared. Sometimes this happens. When I st like start my videos, then I just want to show you guys a bunch of things. So like this case, because I love the dark heart so much, and when um, Jenny was offering a discount in her shop, I decided to get a set. Now this will last me forever. <laughs> All right. Okay, back to business. Okay, seriously. Okay, no more. <laughs> I do want to meet my colors too, right? So, let me pull out the order sheet. Um, Let's open, let's start with the singles that I've gotten. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, come out, come out. Oh, out, out you go. Ta-da! I got a star. Okay. Um. Okay, if you were wondering what I was trying to do, I always keep like little sticker or something. Kind of like put it in my scrapbook as like you know my handmade watercolor journey and then yeah I always keep something just to so I have something to put in a book and look at this guys memories and wild okay the color that really, really caught my eye like you know got me notice lonely mood is this color bio exorcist not only the name is cool, the color is totally zombie. <laughs> zombie. All right. Um, so those are the colors. And oh, this color. I love the movie and I love this color. And look at the paint. The, the paint that it comes in, like the wrap it comes in. The wrapping is so cool right very pretty all right and then I got the primary trio and shifter trio for this is the shifters Look, look right here. See the color change? Yeah. Wow, amazing. And the wrapping. It's so pretty. Very exciting. All right. And now it's the primary trio, the metallic colors. Shiny, shiny, very pretty. All right, okay, I'm going to lock it up so it doesn't shift like that. All right, are you ready? I am more than ready because I mumbled for the first like 10 minutes. Um, if you are new to the channel, that's why I do. I mumble. I just mumble, kind of like talking to myself because I'm terrified of like public speaking. And this is the only way I can get through it is to kind of like mumble, talk to myself. N not like, you know, in a weird way, but you know, just anyway, just watch some of my older videos and you will get it. I just like I don't really talk to people I talk to myself kind of anyway so let's open them up and I have to be careful because I do want to keep the little swatching and the name so I can stick them on a box and that's how I roll and yeah 
if you have seen my older videos, that's how I organize my handmade watercolors because like sometimes I just don't get around to do the swatching myself and yeah, which I should really catch up with. All right, wild. This wrapping paper is really, really pretty. Pretty color, and there's a stamp. I have learned to appreciate sp like stamps on the pen itself because, like, once, like, you know. You have like, you got like so many of them and you just cannot keep them in their um, little tin anymore. You need to combine them and then put it in a bigger tin. And knowing like which shop it is from, this is like the only way. This is for me. If you have like other brilliant way to like, you know, store them so they don't like, you know, You'll be like, oh, where did I get, get this from? When you are running low and you're panicking. Although, like, running low, huh, not going to happen. <laughs> if you get, like, half pain, it can last you a really, really long time. And let's try not to tear it. The front. Just have to look for the opening for handmade watercolors like um the ones that I got during summer they actually got like really really sticky and they are supposed to like throw it in the freezer for like a couple of minutes before you unwrap them and yeah but now it's winter and it's pretty cold lately like the unwrapping they just unwrap perfectly and petal tops unharmed <laughs> Oh, look at that green. My goodness, it's gorgeous. This is very nice. Oh, this one doesn't have a stamp. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love the wrapping paper. It, it just seems like, I don't know, mysterious, magical, it's, it's really pretty. Oh, I torn it. I need to trim the side off now. See, patience, come on. Oh, this one's a color shift too. Okay, alrighty, now, uh, which one should I do first? I think I want to leave the shifter to last because these are the guys that I was like freaking out because they were running out and I was like trying to look for the 10% off and yeah, so you guys give me a scare. I'm glad that I got it though. Let's take them out and open it.
My hands are all sparkly from the swatching. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I love this blue. Very pretty. And now the red. That's not torn another one. Patience, take it slow. My hands are super sparkly. It's not really red red, it's more pink, purplish. They look like they have the same base color, just different sparkle, don't they? But gorgeous still though. Okay, another I know I know I'm mumbling again, but I have to tell you. Um so before I freak out well, like, you know, I wouldn't say freak, freak out, but I, I was like, it bothers me a lot when I get like really, really similar colors and or like the same color from different shop owners. They do sometimes come up with like really close, like almost the same or the same colors. I don't want to say the same because they do use different binders and stuff. So they're not exactly the same. It's just that um, the color itself, the mix is really, really close. And okay, so it totally bothers me when that happens. Um, yeah, but then I just want to share a trick that helped me to not because you just want to try more different colors, you know? I think that's the point that bothers me. I just want different colors. But the thing about having like similar same colors is that then, like at least for me, I don't chip out when I use them. Does that make sense? Because I know they won't run out anytime soon so i just like use them more freely instead of like you know like try not to use so much uh i don't know <laughs> i think it's one of those things that some people get it some people don't if you get what i'm trying to say leave a comment below and support me being you know <laughs> whatever that is and Thank goodness, like, you know, I didn't drop one that's already pre-wet, then that wouldn't, that would be a, oh my god. Now that's a freak out. <laughs> oh my god, his wrapping is so pretty. Oh, I feel bad. I, I think the next one I'm going to try to. Wow. Oh my god, are you seeing this? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God, look at how good. Let me zoom in so you can see how gorgeous it is. Oh, look at all those sparkles. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Although it kind of reminds me of one of the set that I got from and flower tells. Would you guys like to see comparison videos? I think that might be fun to do too. Leave a comment below if you think that's gonna be helpful. And if you have stayed with me till now and con like you know continue watching my mumbles. See I saved this wrapping. Okay, I'm getting carried away again. 
Yeah, so if you are still with me, please subscribe. And that means know that people out there are actually listening to my mumbles. <laughs> that would really help. And thanks in advance. Oh my god, I'm so in love with these colors. It's like, thank goodness I got them. I can't, I can't wait to play with them. So pretty. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Look at that sparkle. My hands are all shiny from, <laughs> from this. Makeup fun! New colors. It's great. Okay, I was going to do a quick swatching, but because of all the unnecessary mumbles, I think I'm going to save it till next time. And well, thank you for watching and yeah, like, thank you for staying till the end. I know I'm super mumbly, but it make it's it's like um, therapy for me. <laughs> and well, thank you for watching. And you know what to do. If you like my videos, just subscribe and like put on the bell thing, and then come visit me and. You know, talk to me, message me, look me up on Instagram, anything. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.